Example 6.8. In this example, there is a container which is wrapped in a fabric which is continually moistened by a highly volatile liquid to maintain the beverages cold in hot and arid regions. Suppose that the container is placed in a dry environment of air at 40 Celsius and there is heat and mass transfer between the wetting agent and the air which is taking place due to forced convection. The information about the weighting engine is given the molecular weight and the latent heat of vaporization. The saturated pressure at those conditions is given to be 5 kilopascals. The diffusion coefficient is also given. The task is to find out what is the steady state temperature of the beverage in these conditions. We treat the problem to be steady, one dimensional. We are going to evaluate uh, transfer of mass and heat due to forced convection. In this example, we use the evaporative cooling, which is the first analogy between heat transfer and mass transfer. We said that the amount of convection that takes place between the surface and the fluid has to be equal to the amount of heat that is being lost due to the changes of the phase. So we write it as at density at the temperature of the uh, fluid at the surface and the density at the fluid. Notice that what we're looking for is T infinity minus Ts. We put these two equations together and we find this to be Hm, Hfg. H and then density, saturated density at the given temperature Ts minus the density at the infinity. If we use the relationships of Hm, we are going to find that this is equal to T infinity minus Ts and this is equal to the molecular weight Hfg, the value of R, uh, rho Cp, Le to the two-thirds, and by using ideal gas law, we could relate the density to the pressure saturated at that particular temperature divided by the temperature minus the infinity pressure divided by T infinity. Notice in this equation the value of P infinity is equal to zero since we measure it in gauge. Therefore, T infinity minus Ts is essentially one over Ts times molecular mass Hfg R rho Cp Le to the two thirds times the pressure saturated at this given temperature. Remember that the Le is the ratio between the Schmidt number and the Proud number, and that reduces simply to alpha divided by dAB. And if we substitute, we can get the value of all this constant. If we replace all the quantities into this part, is going to give us 9520 and the value in the unit for this is going to be k square. Therefore we could simply say that T infinity minus Ts is simply equal to 9520 Ts. Notice that what we're looking for is the value of Ts so what we're going to do is convert this into a second degree polynomial. So we're going to multiply everything by Ts. So it's going to become T infinity times Ts minus Ts squared minus 9520. And this is equal to zero. Since this is a second degree polynomial, we could use the quadratic formula to get the result. And we find that the real solution, the positive real solution is 278 0.9k. 
please note that you have to use the positive value since we are using kelvins we cannot have a negative value of the temperature please go back and review this example and be able to get exactly the same result